Brennan was among those, and let's go to him for his report. Dick? Well, Christine, I can tell you the people are still pouring out, and they're generally very excited. Uh, you know, this just isn't about their candidate. It's about the great American tradition and real pageantry that we've witnessed in the last few hours. It's rather extraordinary. And I can tell you, in spite of the chill in the air, and there is one, and in spite of the bit of rain we got, we got a little more, more fell on me, Christine, apparently, than you. Uh, I can tell you that in spite of all of that, the people here seem absolutely delighted. I'm excited. It's my first time in D.C., first time ever going to an inauguration, and yeah, I'm really excited. Lots of firsts. Oh, yeah, definitely. They lined up early in the Capitol to get a shot to see history, and there was plenty of energy to go around. How excited are you guys? We're so excited! Hundreds of thousands packed the streets and poured into the Capitol. Many who had made the journey from our area. Bella Briones is from Sparta, New Jersey. It's the first time, the first inauguration that I ever attended, so I'm very excited. Um, I get to represent this county by being here. It's historic, and I've been here for the Clinton inauguration for the first one, and it was a great time, and it's, it's something I remember my whole life, so this one's going to be the same way. Well, security in this town is just about as tight as it will ever be. There are trucks blocking the perimeter of the streets that lead down to the Capitol. In addition, there are many layers of security people. In this case and on this block, it's the National Guard. Leonardo Lockett says he's happy to serve. It brings good pride to my home, to the country. Pride. To the state. Yes. Of course, on a raw day in D.C., everybody wants to make a buck, and the hats are selling, among other things. Let's make America great. But so many have come for inspiration. Carol Ann Archer from Jamaica, Queens, brought her 13-year-old daughter. We have to live together. We have to live in peace, not in war. We have to show other countries that we are the best. Now I can tell you, people are still going strong. They want to do something next. They keep coming up to us. Okay, where is the parade? Well, the parade is a few blocks away and approximately a few hours away. But these people, many of whom have been here since 6 a.m., are still raring to go. That's the latest from the nation's capital. I'm Dick Brennan, CBS2 News. Chris and Mary, back to you. Dick, thank you. From Washington, D.C., now to Old Bridge, New Jersey, where 